Are luxury Japanese strawberries worth the price? Just yesterday, I was at Tokyo Central, a local Japanese supermarket here in Orange County, California, and I saw they had some strawberries direct from Japan. This box of two sets of strawberries cost $46. And in this video, I'm gonna be telling you whether these strawberries are worth the price. Now, over here on this side, we've got some strawberries from Hakata, and you might be thinking, Chris, those strawberries don't look ripe. You know what, those are actually Japanese white strawberries. These are called Mayabino, and they're from Kyushu, the south of Japan in Hakata. Over here, we have Amao. These are from Kumamoto, also in the south of Japan. This side, these eight strawberries were the most expensive, $30 for these eight strawberries, and then these, now what do we got over here? Seven strawberries, this one was $16. The red strawberries are cheaper. So uh, let's go ahead and dive in. I'll show you what these strawberries look like. We'll talk about what they taste. And then after I do the taste test, I'll tell you a little bit about why these strawberries are so expensive. Okay, so I'm back with the three strawberries. And the first one I'm gonna start with right here is the strawberry from Kumamoto. These were the strawberries that were $16 for seven. Now I wanna cut the strawberry in half to show you what these strawberries look like inside. This strawberry red inside as most strawberries are. By the way, as I was setting this up, it reminded me of like a Korean mukbang where they have all that food. I don't have all that food. I've got um, three strawberries that probably cost as much as all that Korean food. So let's go ahead and dive in. Mm. It's a good strawberry flavor. Um, it's pretty soft, kind of softer and probably moister than most American strawberries. It flew here a long way from Japan. And so this is a little bit probably on the ripe side. There's a really good strawberry. Question is, <clears throat> is this strawberry worth about $2? Mm. I'm not entirely sure this one is. We're gonna give this one on the scale of five tofers. It's gonna get three tofers for these strawberries. Now let's go on to the white strawberry. When OC Girl and I were in uh, Tokyo last year before the pandemic, we saw some white strawberries in some of the department stores and they were priced at $10 per one strawberry. Now they were a little bit bigger than these, but what's so interesting about these white strawberries is they are actually white on the inside. They're white on the outside and they're white on the inside. And they have a magnificent strawberry smell from the outside. This one, I, it doesn't actually smell that much like a strawberry, the red one, but the white one, it's, I mean, the aroma is really quite magnificent. So let's go ahead and dive into the white strawberry. Wow, wow. I feel like Mark Weens right now and my eyes wanna get really big. This is like, a flavor explosion, and a party in my mouth. This is the best strawberry I've ever had because when we were in Tokyo last year, we did not get the white strawberries because we were too cheap. And so this is why I bought them this time because I was like, well, $30 and it comes with four white strawberries. That's better than $10 for one white strawberry. Um, I'm really glad that I bought these because this white strawberry is amazing. Um, it has like, it's a really intense strawberry flavor. The sweet part of the strawberry, but not the sour part of the strawberry. So you get all of the delicious part without the sour tart part. And there's no kind of like sour aftertaste that sometimes strawberries give you, just smooth. It's almost like you took strawberry jam like the sweetest part, like the condensed strawberry, and just condensed it down to one place. I just wanna smell this all day. It's really good. This white strawberry 
Go for it. What's it gonna get? This one. Five Tophers. We get five Tophers for the white strawberry, best strawberry we have ever had. All right, let's move on to the last one. This is the red strawberry that came with the white strawberries. And so the white strawberries in this package for $30 for eight strawberries was, what does that work out to be? A little more than <clears throat> $3 a strawberry, like $3.50 a strawberry. The red ones are also white on the inside. Have you ever seen a red strawberry on the outside that's completely white on the inside? So this is clearly a similar variety, but is not all white. So let's go ahead and dive into the red on the outside, white on the inside strawberry. This one also has a good strawberry scent, but it's not quite as strawberry scented as the white ones. And it's, it's good, but it's not as amazing as the white one. The flavor is not quite as intense as the white one is. It is more sweet than the red, red ones were. And it's not sour at all. It's a really good strawberry, but it's not as amazing as the entirely white strawberry. So the red one with the white inside is going to get four Tophers. Uh, so overall, the question is, were the white strawberries worth $30 for eight strawberries or $30 for four white strawberries? I, I think they were. It was definitely worth $3.50. But I have all these leftover strawberries. What am I going to do with them? You know, I watched this, the Paul Hollywood video on YouTube where he eats a like $500 strawberry in Japan and he ate the stem. And I don't think I'm quite bold enough to eat the stem, but we do have a bunny rabbit named MacGyver and I think these are destined for him. Now the question I'm sure you're wondering and Topher's wondering is how is it that the Japanese make these strawberries that are so much better than strawberries grown anywhere else? And now for that answer, let's go to someone actually qualified to give it to you, a real Japanese strawberry farmer. When O. Seagull and I were in Japan last year, we visited this strawberry farm in Fukushima. Let's hear how he makes his strawberries so sweet. Perhaps you can tell us um, how long have you owned this farm? What makes Fukushima strawberries so sweet? まあ、日本全体がやっぱりね、甘いのを好むのかな、日本人。日本全体で品種がね、それぞれ各地方で開発してますけど、うん、50種類くらいは今栽培してね。今みんな甘いのが好まれるから甘いイチゴを開発してます
and have a strawberry cake. Strawberry cakes are so popular at Christmas time that people in Japan have to pre-order them weeks ahead so that they can have their strawberry cake. And in fact, here in the US, at every Japanese bakery, Japanese grocery store, that's what they sell and they pre-order it here too. So if you want a Japanese strawberry cake for Christmas, even in the States, you have to pre-order it weeks ahead of time. Well, as usual, we won't say goodbye because we'll see you in one of our videos right here. Hey, check this one out for things to do in Fukushima, Japan, where we are picking some strawberries at one of Japan's famous strawberry farms.